Only got a minute. I'm gonna break. Well, I'll make this fast. I read the letter you wrote to Sophia, the love letter. Why'd you go behind my back? It's between me and Sophia, Nick. She's my girlfriend. I thought she was cheating on me. We almost broke up. Look, I know I went about this all wrong. No kidding? My feelings are real. I'm in love with Sophia. Sophia Carlino. It's time to choose your dream date. Now, behind this screen, we have three hunks who would all like to be your dream date. Which lucky fellow will it be? Ever since I was a kid, I thought about the day I'd find my father. I should have let it go. I never should have gone to Chicago. You don't know for sure that Artie Willis was your father. Yeah, I can't ask him. The man is dead. Yeah. Well, but King Monroe said that um, Artie used to hang out at the Blue Pair at the same time that Satin was there. It's weird. It's really weird. Why? Well, the fact that my mother had a whole life that I never heard about. I mean, I had no idea that people called Irene Montgomery Satin. You know, it's, it's like finding out that, uh, that Ed a burlesque queen or something. <laughs> what was it King said about Satin again? He said she shine. Yeah. And he is. I'm sorry you were disappointed. You're not talking to us now? We haven't done anything to be ashamed of, Mom. Then why do you look so guilty? Stuff seems to have ended up here. Well, you guys were engaged. You know, you think I brought pictures of Lorna and Jenna here because I, I wanted us to feel like we were in a relationship that Alexander and I were actually a family? Who's Desiree? This is good. Oh. I found this in the, in the, in the room down the hall. That's my uh, novel I'm working on. Oh. Did you see the study? Is that a study? Yeah. It looks like a separate house. Alexander had that built for me. He definitely was trying to buy me. And it was working. Well, I don't know about that. You're a pretty independent woman. Is that how you see me, really? You betcha. I mean, look, you're a tough friend and a good one. Kept me sober. Oh, no, you did that yourself. You know, day by day. Look, I think that's the way you need to play this. This breakup with Alexander, you, you, you take it one day at a time. There was a moment in Los Angeles. I could have run away with him. Hmm. After all the terrible things he did. I know you're shocked, I know. Well, you can't. 
came home, I think that's what counts. Maybe it's from being here, you know? Oh, God, I just... <sighs> I think I'm just feeling a little unsettled about all of it, you know? Why? Oh, because I'm an addict. Come on, Gary, you know that. You're the one who said I'm on a dry drunk, and you were absolutely right about that. I was so upset over John and I breaking up that I used Alexander to try and feel better about myself. I used Alexander to get over John, just like I used booze to get over Luke. Same thing. Well, you know what? Listen to yourself. I think you see the situation very clearly now. <laughs> what? For a change? What are you going to do now? What do you mean? I, I said goodbye. I'm packing up. I'm taking my stuff home. I'm cutting all the ties. Are you dreaming? Come on. From where I'm sitting, Alexander has a firm hold on you. Cynthia, slow down your gobbling. Nikos thinks he can actually treat the mayor of Bay City like hired help. You know that man actually thinks that he is the holding the cards here? But he's not, is he? My big, strong, handsome husband is, aren't you? He better have enough judges in his pocket, I'll tell you, because I got enough on him to send him to prison for two lifetimes. Why? What have you got on him? It's better that you don't know. This is Grant Harrison calling. You tell Mr. Nikos that I want him to call me back within the hour. You tell him I want to collect. Yeah, that's telling him. So what does he owe you? Where are you going? Grant? Where are you going? You ask an awful lot of questions, you know that? Nikos thinks he can do a disappearing act on me. I'll tell you what. You have some dessert, and I'll send a car for you. Wait, here, I'll come with you. Grant! Grant! You just, you just hold on. We'll, we'll get you out. Nothing. I mean, why do they install these bloody things if they don't work? Rachel, Rachel, you've gone very pain. Yeah, I can't breathe. But how long have we been supporting this institution, honey? Where are the staff? A pox on you, Nikos. It doesn't have anything to do with Nikos. It doesn't have anything to do with Nikos. Come on, come on, let me keep you warm. Come on. There we are. Oh, God damn, Nikos. You're chilling. I can't. I'm going to be all right. Of course I'm going to be all right. I'm going to be all right. There's no picnic being stuck in, a, in an elevator at any time, but especially after what you've been through. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Listen to me. Listen to me. This is not as rough as what you've just been through, going through that CAT scan. This is nothing. Look at all this space. Look. He showed great courage. It's not courage. It's not courage when you don't have any choice. Mama. Let us talk. The fancy it. lawyer arguments won't work. You two being together is wrong. Mom and I will work this out, okay? Well, I don't see why the three of us just can't sit down because and talk about it. Because it's just easier if it's just the two of us. Please. And may I love you. Okay. Before you start lecturing, my feelings haven't changed for him. I'm falling in love with him. No, you're yes, not. I no, am. you're not. Don't even think that. I can't help it. Oh, yeah, you can help it. And you owe it to yourself to at least try. Okay, okay. I know this is strange. It's strange for me, too. We've been close since I was kids. Yes. But and if you're not careful, baby, you can lose that. No, what if we find something better? We might. Is this about Chris? What's going on? Yeah, yeah. That's, that, that's a part of it. But, baby, Chris, he's a good man. Yeah, I know. But he's not the only good man, Mama. They, I'm dating him. We're not married. Listen, honey, listen, baby, you know, you don't understand the world, you know? A good man you can trust, 
You just don't find that on every corner. You found Daddy. You love Tyrone. Yeah, like a son. And he's been like your brother. Then explain to me why when I'm with him, I can't think about anything or anybody else, including Chris. You know, Chris stood by you. And this is how you, you think I want to hurt him? I'm not trying then to hurt stop him. now. Before you go too far. Baby, no, wait. You haven't gone too far, No, have I haven't gone too far. It's just that I... What, what, what? Oh, I see. Now, you think that you're too old to listen to no, your I mama, right? I mean, mama, mama, I'm not could saying I that! possibly know about falling in love, right? But let me tell you something. I learned a thing or two the hard oh, way. Mama, and maybe, just maybe, I'm trying to save you that pain. What does that mean? What does that mean? Your father wasn't the only man in my life, baby. I mean, I wish he had been. Okay. I'm not a child anymore. And I know what I'm doing, and I know how to handle this. If you want me to talk to Chris? I'll talk to Chris. I'll tell him what's going on. Is that what you want? You do that, and you'll be making the biggest mistake of your life. Now, if you remember, I did suggest that we... We postponed the CAT scan, didn't I? I'm not talking about what I just read through. No, right. Okay, it's time for a story. Did I ever tell you about the time when I, yours truly, was stuck in a submarine? No. And it all was a terrible kind of story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, darling, you know, this is all understandable considering what you've been no, through. No, it's over, it's over, it's no, over. No, it's not over. Oh, no, really. It's hardly <laughs> over. There's always an aftermath. There's always an aftermath. Panic moments of panic terror. I know. It's a, I'm terrified. It's a, I'm terrified of the dark. I'm terrified of closed spaces. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. And I'm terrified of things closer to home. Well, you, t you, t you tell me about that. Come I can't. On. What? I can't. What? You'll take my words and you'll engrave them on your heart and uh, use them to exact revenge. Darling, yeah. darling, that man's actions are engraved on my heart. When I was in the cat skin, I was. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't breathe. And my heart was racing. And they were taking pictures. Pictures. I just kept hanging on to that. Pictures. Pictures of my babies. My own babies. <laughs> and you. And, and the children. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here for my family. That's the most important thing for me. You can tell me these things. You, you don't have to hold back with me. I I get the prize for being stupid, thinking you were my friend. Sophia's friend, when all the time you're hoping she dumps me. I could have moved on Sophia so many times, Nick. Oh, yeah? Yeah, every time you messed up. We've worked things out. For now. Who got to go pregnant? You're the one who's a teenage father, not me. So don't preach. You know, I've done a lot of things that were wrong in my life, Nick. And not telling Sophia that I wrote the letter, well, that was wrong. <laughs> Well, how about writing the letter in the first place? I was Mr. Anonymous. You knew it, damn it. I trusted you. You got these people thinking you're this hard-working, noble guy. In fact, my, my dad used to say, why can't you be more like Tomas Rivera? No, thanks. You know, you're the one who went after Maggie Corey, Nick. I knew it. You never got over that. Oh, Maggie, getting Maggie was easy for you, wasn't it? It was like a game, and you didn't even care if you ruined her life. So now you're going to get back at me by ruining Sophia's. I will never hurt Sophia. I love her. You already have hurt her. She looked up to you. What a joke. I didn't know it was happening for a long time. <gasps> Give me a break. That's what happened between Emily and I, Nick. I really wanted Sophia. I'm telling you right now. Stay away from Sophia. She can speak for herself, Nick. 
Now, what's your first question for these three gentlemen, Sophia? Factual number one. If we were on a date and my eyelash fell in your suit, what would you do? Well, uh, Sophia, first of all, for your, uh, for your eyelash to fall into my soup, you have to be sitting very close, so I'm already very happy. Um, I would definitely preserve your eyelash in amber so I could keep it forever. Okay, that's your number two. What would you do? Well, you sound like an adventurous woman, Sophia. I would put your eyelash in my pocket for good luck and take you flying. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Bachelor number three. If we were on a date, what would you do if my eyelash fell in your soup? Eyelash? Soup? I'd be too busy looking at your beautiful face to notice anything else. All right. <laughs> Next question. Bachelor number one. Just like every woman, I want the perfect honeymoon. Where would you take me? Um, <laughs> well, uh, how's Tahiti sound? You could go horseback riding on the beach at daybreak. You could make love in the waterfall. I could worship you in the warm sun. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> Bachelor number two, can you top that? Well, my private jet take us on a tour of the world's greatest capitals. London, Rome. Saving the best for last, I would see you escargot in the moonlight atop the Eiffel Tower. I didn't think it was going to be this hard. That's your number three. Where would you take me on our honeymoon? <sighs> There's only one woman in the world like you, Sophia. So I'd find out what makes you happy and do everything in my power to give it to you. I don't need to ask any more questions. All I know is his voice, but I've heard his heart. I'm in love with bachelor number three. Bachelor number three, Nick Hudson. Hey! Great hey! I love you. Thank you for choosing me, Sophia. You okay? I would be if you were here with me. You can't be alone at your place. Tomas uh, is on duty tonight. I checked his schedule. He won't be home until morning. Come over. I miss you. Really? I can't think. I can't study. Well, you know I want to give you everything, don't you? I don't want everything. I want you. I, I gotta finish up a paper, but I'll get there later. I'll wait up. I'll spend every day and night making you happy, Sophia. Starting now. I'm just trying to look out for you, honey. What, since I was raped, you can't trust me to know who I love and who I don't love? Look, love is no simple thing. You think you understand it. You think you know yourself. And then one day, you sideswipe by this handsome face, brown eyes that make your knees give out. Where's this coming from? <laughs> Look, you've been through hell enough this year. Yeah. Tyrone is not the man for you. How do you know that? How can you be sure of that? Mama? Because you are not as experienced as Tyrone so is now when it comes wild? to the opposite sex. Look, I know he's been through a lot of girls in college, I can tell you that. And I don't believe he slowed up any when he was getting that law degree either. His mother passed away. Can you have some sympathy? He was lonely. Oh, girl, listen. Look, 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 look. I do not dislike Tyrone, okay? I love him. But the man has some problems that he needs to straighten out before he can think about settling down. Settling down? Look, oh, do you hear yourself? One minute, you're talking about you're falling in love. And the next well, minute, no. you what? You want, you want to have a fling? You are willing to lose, Chris. Just so you can get it on with some some man you have no right thinking about. Oh, I have no name. right thinking you, about him you, now? You, your head, Tony. Just a couple of weeks ago, Tyrone was chasing after Dana. Oh, now, God, what happened to that? I don't know. Yes, five will get you ten. She got too interested. Men are like that. They want what they can't have. 
And the same thing can happen to you. Yeah, you know, maybe he likes me. Maybe he finds me more attractive than he found in. Is that a possibility? Did you ever think about that, Mama? You are so confused that you don't know what is what. Now, until you are sure, leave it alone, Tony. Now, you just stay away from Tyrone before people get hurt. Well, I think you're, you're right about Chris, though. I haven't been fair to him. Really? If he wasn't out of town, I, I'd talk to him, but I... <sighs> really? No, baby, no, 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 don't, no, not on the phone. I'm not a child, okay? I thought about this. I know right from wrong. And I'm going to do the right thing. Hey, Chris, it's Tony. I'll be upstairs if you need me. I'm calling because I... Uh, I, uh, I want to know how you're doing. knows your heart. My lips know your lips as it as if from another time, another life. Nick, why didn't you tell me this was from you? I mean, why didn't I know? <laughs> Moss wouldn't have written me his anonymous love letter. These things wouldn't be such a mess. How are we going to be friends? Hey! What is it? <laughs> Wait, hi! Well, I'm happy to see you, too. Hi. What is with the bell? <laughs> not till Christmas. Christmas is not for a couple of weeks. What are you doing? You're going to go to work like this? Okay, if you can find a tree big enough to put me under. Well, the only tree that I... The only tree I know of is the one on Center Street that the police put up. What's going on? Yep, right off the fire escape. Tied them all together, had the tree, tree stands hanging off my belt. Wait, you only fell off my roof once this year. I wasn't going to fall off tonight. I had to see that look on your beautiful face. Was it worth it? This can't wait until Christmas. Well, I'm all yours. We didn't have such a great Christmas last year, remember? I was trying to get you back by Christmas Day. I didn't make it. Things were so different back then. But now I'm on my own. That's exciting. No, it's not. It's lonely. Not now it isn't, though. Wait a minute. I want to show you something. Okay? Okay. 
What you got there? Don't they look like real cranberries? You mean they're not? Painted wood from Italy. So, naturally, you had to buy them. Well, it reminds me of my mom. She used to string them every year. You want to help me out? Yeah. Did you do stuff like this when you were growing up? Nah, my mom ordered Christmas over the phone. What? Presents, a turkey, a tree. One year it was gold. One of those fake jobs, big seven-footer. <laughs> Did you decorate it together? No. Came fully loaded. Shiny red balls, green bows. One year, we didn't even have a tree. She took me on a business trip to Bermuda. All I did was carry on. I didn't think Santa would ever find me there. Did he ever find you? You know, I don't remember. I got everything I wanted all the time anyway. Until last year. When he said it was over between us. I knew I lost you. And I knew no one can get you back. Not Santa. Not my mom or her lawyer friends. Not Michael. All I wanted was your love and I lost it. We're never gonna let that happen again. No. Tomas's letter was a close call. Yeah, but we're still together. You know what we can do up here? Well, we can sell hot cocoa to Santa's reindeer. <laughs> we could, um... We could do some caroling up here. We could sing some songs on the roof, and then we could head over to somebody's house for food. No, we don't have very far to go. We just go right through the window. Yeah, right through the window. <laughs> I bet your family did that kind of thing all the time. Well, we talked about it, but we were always too busy eating. <laughs> but I always said that when I had my own family, I'd make it a tradition. We could start this year. Make our own tradition? Yeah. Our first Christmas together? Got this for free for buying so many trees. I don't think we're gonna need it. I see Nico's got you the right plastic surgery. Nico's didn't have anything to do with my face being fixed. In fact, he's out of my life completely. I wish I could say the same for you. See ya. As a matter of fact, I'll, I'll stay right here and wait for my wife. As a matter of fact, why don't you tell uh, Captain Carlino and that dr his wife that uh, this should be my table from now on. We'll call it the uh, we'll call it the mayor's table. Uh, I think you should tell him that yourself, sir. <laughs> you look upset. Is something wrong? No, no, no. Has any cussery No, no, it's not that. I, it's really just me. Uh... You know, I'm trying to put my life back together. I made such a mess of it. I, I'm taking all my things out of Alexander's penthouse right now, so... Oh. All I can say to you, Felicia, is I can't tell you how glad I am to see you looking so well. You know, I never blamed you for the fall, Carl. Never. Well, you're a very generous creature. I have to tell you, I didn't hold out much hope for the friendship. Well, I hope you don't feel like that now. No. You don't, do you? Of course oh. not. Oh. Are you going to kiss and make up? Well, well. If it isn't the Greek's puppet. Who? Alexander Nikos. Nikos? I, bar I barely know the man. Come, come. He bought the mayor's office for you. Oh, no. I was elected by the people. <laughs> <laughs> now, I think Mr. Nikos wanted an ineffectual little wimp whose strings he could pull to circumvent the law. And he got himself one. Strings mm. that 
attached. You don't even know where he is, do you? Excuse me. I'm trying to get him to slip and tell you where Nikos is. You volatile. Sometimes he makes a mistake. You know what? I don't think Grant does know. Alexander likes to keep people guessing. You don't get rid of me that easily. This is not a lark, Cynthia. I don't want you anywhere near Nikos. Now you wait for me at home. Where are you? Next time I won't be so patient, Nikos. You didn't respond to my message promptly. I don't respond to messages. Threats. I see. So that's the way you want to play this. Huh? What I want is word of my daughter. She should be with Felicia by now. I just caught a glimpse of the latest version of Felicia on Center Street. She was alone. Well, no, she wasn't quite alone. She was with Carl and Rachel. <laughs> Doesn't that just make your holiday season complete? After all you've done to separate them, they seem closer than ever. It's according to plan. I see. You know, if you're so concerned about your daughter, why don't you just call Felicia yourself? That's my business. You're not a kingmaker anymore, Nikos. I mean. You made it possible for me to reinvent myself. What have you done for me lately? You forget. I know how you tortured Rachel Hutchins. And I will bring you down in a heartbeat when you stop being useful to me. It's up to you. What? I want a sympathetic judge. One who will give me custody of my son. Well, I'll have my best people on that. But I can't guarantee anything if you cross with drug dealers and lowlifes. I have handled that. Oh, handle something for me. These are the key to my penthouse. Combination to my safe and items that I need. T-bills, gold and platinum, and the codes to my Swiss bank accounts. <laughs> you're turning your life over to me, Nikos. Yeah. What is it that you're doing? You'll just have to trust me. That frightened me. What happened earlier? To see you like that. All I have to do is avoid elevators for the time being. <laughs> Don't shut me out, Rachel. Never. We must never do that.
Glass of vino? Looks like you could use it. Since you're polishing the silverware I polished last week. Chris's mother's sick. He's gonna spend some more time in D.C. I couldn't tell him. So, you feel sorry for Chris, is that it? I didn't say that. It's just his voice sounded so sweet. He put you first, Tony. He doesn't deserve to lose you. I didn't mean for this to happen. Come on. Tell me something. Did Tyrone put this thought in your head that the attraction between you two was bigger than both of you? Don't be so hard on He had a real disappointment tonight. And a cold shower and you'll be just fine. We went to the Blue Parrot, and he uh, thought he had found his father. Oh, I got it. Oh, my. Oh, my tablecloth. Oh, no. So he was disappointed to find out that Artie Willis was dead. And oh, we're both going too far. I'm just trying to help him know what's going on. Going to leave a stay. Oh, no, what's going on with you? Just leave it alone. Leave it all alone. Myself, especially in a break in. I'm going to protect you if I have to kill you. Now go home. Tonight, Must See Monday starts with an all-new Suddenly Susan. Then, after Mad About You at a special night and time, it's an all-new Christmas Caroline in the city you'll never forget. Followed by an all-new Naked Truth and Dateline. A great night of Must See TV, starting at 8, 7 Central, NBC Tonight.